This is the original DR Field and Brush Mower by the Backtold Brothers. This is the original one, and uh, you can't get parts for it anymore. And I called uh, DR uh, Power, and they said, uh, listen, you know, we never really even made that one. I guess they just maybe marketed it or something like that. But, uh, you know, I paid $225 for that, this thing. And I, I think I got a real good deal at $225. These things go for, like if you try to buy a modern one, they go for like a couple thousand. So, but it needed a lot of work. I had to do a lot of stuff to it. Uh, so anyway, the main thing is, is I got the tires right here. My son was using it, and he ended up breaking both belts at the same time somehow. So I'm waiting for new belts. But uh, while that's coming in there, i got got to replace the tires. And you can see uh, they're in really bad shape. Uh, the duct tape helped out a lot, but uh, these things aren't doing very well. And I sent an email to, to DR Power, and they suggested I get... Uh, they didn't have anything, but they had a suggestion. And I'll show you what the suggestion was. Okay, here's the suggestion. Northern Tools has a branded uh, wheel, 20-inch wheel, and uh, I guess they call it semi-pneumatic, so which means it's hollow, and I guess the old one was hollow. And you can kind of see it here. Let me kind of uh, uh, give you a, see Northern Tools and Equipment. Uh, here's the item number. Here we go, there's the item number, 145121. And uh, here's their phone number, northerntool.com, and guaranteed lowest prices. Man, I'm glad I got there. So anyway, they were 25 bucks a piece. And ooh, they didn't charge me tax, but it was uh, $15 uh, to ship it. So uh, anyway, with any job, you never know how to do a job until after you do it. So my plan is, is I got two tires. I'm going to go replace the first one off camera and figure out how the hell to do this. And then the second one, I'll know how to do it. Then I'll have the camera on and I'll explain to you guys how to do it. I've, I've heard all sorts of conflicting stories. Uh, uh, some people say to put this thing in boiling water, although I don't know, I don't have a pan big enough for that. Don't know what I'm going to do there. Other people say put it out in the sun. Other people say put it in the oven. I think I'm going to try putting it in the oven and get it all nice and hot and then get it off here. And then uh, other people have even talked about uh, covering it in transmission fluid or covering brake fluid to soften up the rubber. Uh, it doesn't sound too good to me. I, I want this thing to last. I don't want it to dissolve. But I may use a, a lubricant to get it on the new one. But uh, who knows? These are all uh, ideas. As far as getting the old tire off, I'm going to try to be careful getting the old tires off because this might not work. Although, supposedly, people have done this before. Uh, according to the email I got from DR Power, this has worked before. So, we'll, I'll let you know. Well, getting this tire off looks like it's actually going to be really easy. Uh, man, you got to have a 17-inch pair of channel locks. I think these are 17, maybe 19. But the biggest channel locks they make. I mean, this tool, I've had it for 20 years. And it's been the most valuable tool ever. Uh, I've used it for everything. You got to have, have one of these things. But you can just you can just go around there. You can see how easily this comes off. And then there's a lot of different tools you can use to to pry it out. I've, this thing I picked up for six dollars from Harbor Freight. It's actually a tire tool, and it looks like it worked out well. Then I've got some other pry bars and screwdrivers. But getting this thing off here is going to be pretty darn easy. You know, just prying it right out. It it uh, looks like it'll come out there pr pretty pretty darn easily. You know, I thought this job was going to be a lot harder, harder than uh, than it was. I just pried this thing up, got the the tire tool in here. Six dollars well spent, man. Go to Harbor Freight, get one of these things, and then once you get it started, you know, it just comes off. Well, I think this is going to be a lot faster. I thought I was going to be spending hours out here, but you can see this thing fits perfectly in there, perfectly in there. And it's just a matter of getting it on. Uh, it's already pretty oily on here. I don't even think I need to use a lubricant. And it's just a matter, I think, of uh, maybe, maybe get some help. Maybe get somebody to hold these things and then taking the the, uh, the tire uh, pry bar and just popping it in. And uh, maybe I can do it myself with clamps. You know, my, my son's gone for uh, a number of hours, but maybe the, this evening if I need help, I'll, I'm going to try to do it alone. We'll see here. 
Well, that was just too easy. I, I put a C-clamp here to hold on one end, and I just took my hands out, just, just took my hands and, and just popped it in here. It was just too darn easy. I'm gonna do the next wheel. Bill, remember I told you, you never know how to do a job until you do it. So now I did the first wheel. I know these things are gonna fit. I just took uh, the wrench, just, just, you know, okay, well I didn't cut the inner side there, but I'm just gonna cut this thing and pull it out and get it out the easy way because I know that the new wheel's gonna fit. Here we are, perfect fit. These things fit nice and tight, but not so tight as they were hard, difficult to get on. It, this was an easy, easy job. I'm, uh, I was uh, worried about it for days, imagining how difficult it might be and what could go wrong. And it works perfect and even has kind of the diamond pattern. I was told that the original tires had a da diamond pattern, at least I read that. So uh, I was thinking about using pneumatic tires. I was noticing I could buy bicycle tires that were 20 inch by 1.75 and then you'd have to get a tube, then you have to get like a rubber thing for the spokes, and then would it fit? I don't think that these rims would have fit, and then uh, I would have wasted $50. It would have been the same amount of money to buy the, buy the pneumatic tires off of Amazon as it would be to get these. So uh, I think I made the right choice. 50, cost 50, let's just say $70 after all the, everything's said and done. But uh, man, oh man, uh, uh, it's going to work a lot better now, I'm sure.